You know it's kind of funny how a room full of things feels completely empty when you're not in the wings. How could I have known the fortune I would find? Peace deep in my bones. The beauty day and night, and you may anywhere feel like home. Home isn't where we live. It's living by your side. In every space, and how it makes any place feel like home. I guess I'm kind of lucky. When I hit a wall, I know I can climb up. 'Cause you're the ground beneath it all, and you make anywhere feel like home. Home isn't where we live. It's living by your side. In every space, and how it makes any place feel like home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for the celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Gabriel and Emily on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance, so let us support them with our affection with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word that God speaks to us today. Then, with Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father, through Christ our Lord, for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. So, dear brothers and sisters, as we come here into this day for holy matrimony, we see that we are made for relationship, and a relationship that brings life, that is faithful, that lays down itself for the good of the other. And we see that the great law of God is charity, sacrificial love. And in a world that keeps asking these questions, why do these bad things keep happening here and there and there? 
What if someone does not know who they're made for? What if they do not know that love that satisfies? How can they love another? You are to be a mighty reservoir of God's gracious love for the world. So he's asking you today, he's calling you. He's calling you by vocation, come. He needs you to be an instrument of his medicine. That he makes a domestic church. That is a place where God dwells and lives, where he's worshipped, where people encounter him, where they're transformed, where they're fed, where they're healed. That the world might be filled with the peace of Christ in a new way again. But also in this, this is where it gets a little tender. He knows what will bring you the fullness of life. And by his providence, he set up the introduction. Love her as Jesus loves her. Love him as Jesus loves him. And let that love be Trinitarian, meaning that it just, where it's going to be reckless and spill out. The whole law and the prophets depend on those two commandments. So may the delight the Lord has in each of you be magnified, that your delight would grow in each other and be a gift to the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Gabrielle and Emily, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared to follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I have. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? You guys look excited about that part. <laughs> Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, I ask you to turn, join your right hands, and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Gabrielle, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I, Gabriel, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Emily, take you, Gabriel, to be my husband. I, Emily, take you, Gabriel, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The rings, please. Emily receive, this ring Emily, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Gabriel, receive this ring. Gabriel, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. 
as a sign of my love and fidelity. <laughs> In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Emily and let her always follow the example of these holy women whose praises are of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they, may they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Dear brothers and sisters, let us celebrate the new holy nuptials of Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel and Emily Velasco. Hmm? Oh, excuse me, Moreno. How about Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel and Emily Moreno? Yeah, Moreno Velasco. How's that? for a moment. All right, you two, go out with joy, okay? Go ahead. Yes.
such a great time to be around. They've been absolutely amazing friends. And I'd do anything for both of you, either one of you, and preferably both of you. Let me word it that way. When they got engaged, I was so happy to be getting Gabe as a brother, and I couldn't ask for a better guy for Emily. Thank you for taking such good care of Emily. And I know you always will. I think I can speak for half of us here when I say it's going to be strange not calling you Dias anymore. <laughs> but I have to say, Miranda has a nice ring to it. So many great memories. I could go on and on. And now look at you on your wedding day. So, so beautiful. You're so beautiful from in the inside and out. And I love you, Gabe. You're just, you rock. I'm, we're so thankful that you are her husband and that you're so lucky to have her as your wife. Ah, boy. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. <laughs> you're tougher than I am. <laughs> And I noticed that Gabriel normally is really calm, cool, and collect. Well, this day he wasn't calm, cool, and collect. <laughs> this day he is glued to me like this. I mean, it's like somebody took some super glue and stuck down there. And I'm thinking, what in the world is going on with this kid? Something bad's happened. That's what, and which we shouldn't think that, but I'm sure most people think bad. Anyways. I ask him what's up, and he pulls out this little box, and he opens it up, and there's a ring in there. And so I'm looking at the ring, and I look up at Gabe, and I said, what the heck are you going to do with that? <laughs> and anyways, then Gabriel asked me if he could marry Emmer, and of course, I gave him my blessing, and I would do it over and over again. I think the world of you, a little bit of advice I have for you is never stop talking. Oh, and no. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget to say your morning prayers together. Never forget it. And just love each other and treat each other with kindness. Antes que todo, muchas gracias por venir. A todos. Thank you for coming, everybody here. So, I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> the next few days <laughs> or years. But, I hope you stay together for the rest of life. So I don't have too much to speak. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys here. Muchas gracias por venir. Los estimo a todos.
can't describe this magic in the air the world has come alive and when i see you you make my pulse rise i never knew that i could be so hypnotized to something If I don't try now, the chance will slip away I'll bury all my doubts and I won't be afraid There's something I could never see Now my heart is open and I believe And I don't know where this all will go Oh, nobody knows oh, I'll, I'll know where it into my life You walked in, let you open my Touch, baby, the way that your body is moving me, and I don't know where this all will go. Oh no.